I have a lot of teachers asking me if there's an easier way to give grades because they have to in a grade book at the end. Yeah, of I know. I know. Teachers have been complaining that it's too much work to have to print out all those PDFs, and especially they don't have a printer in their classrooms. Well, PDFs and imagine having to grade all of them. That's a lot of work. So, Mr. Garza, is there a way to create a self-grading PDF test? Yes, I think so. Um, maybe using Google Forms. And here's how. Hello, I am Mr. G. I will guide you on how to create a self-grading quiz from a PDF. This video will cover the simple way to create it. When learning from any video, remember the four P's of instructional videos. Pause, probe, perform, and play. Number one, pause the video and either. Number two, probe the video if you didn't understand. If you missed something, go back and watch again. Number three, perform the action shown in the video. And number four, continue playing the video. First, we want to upload the PDF file to Google Drive. I'm going to select New, File, Upload, and find the PDF file for this test. Once it finishes uploading, I need to share it so that anyone in the organization can see it. I can either select the Share button or the Get Link button on the top. So I want to share with the organization. I want to make sure that it is the organization entirely and that they only have viewer permissions. I'm going to copy this link. I will need it later. In Google Classroom, I'm going to create a quiz assignment. In this example, I need to paste the link to the PDF file that I have uploaded to my Google Drive. I'm going to copy these same instructions in the Google Form. First question, it's going to be titled question and the question type is going to be multiple choice grid. In this example, I only have four questions. Also, in this example, the answer choices are either A through D or F through I. To make it easier for the students, I'm going to select Require Response for each row. So that the grade automatically populates, I need to select the answer key. In this example, I'm using the 100 point scale. All looks good. Now I just need for the students to answer the questions. You will see that they have turned in some assignments. I'm going to select on the view assignment and you will see this new button appear called import grades. If you do not see it, you may need to click where it says all students. Once you see the Import Grades button, simply click on it and Import. You will now see how we have imported grades for all students. I can then return their grades so that they can see. To conclude, we have covered how to create a self-grading PDF by using Google Classroom and Google Forms. If you need further assistance, you can always contact your EdTech leaders. I am Mr. G. Cheers.